Oh, edible Play-Doh. What great memories this brings back for me. Now, this was one of my first real recipes that my mom allowed me to mix up in the kitchen. This edible Play-Doh recipe goes back way when I was a preschooler in Thermopolis, Wyoming. And how great is this? A recipe that encourages your kids to play with their food. How often do you find that? Now, my mom kept the recipe for me. And in fact, I rewrote this recipe just for my own little recipe box, probably in fourth or fifth grade. I like to show this because it's so funny. Look at this little piece of paper. It's truly special. I was trying really hard there to be as professional as I could. Um, also, what's fun about Meals and Rush for me is I like to show a lot of pictures of me from the farm because a lot of people say, you're not from a farm. You look like a city girl. Oh, I have proof. Look at this. This shot is so special because this is looking over my ducks along Owl Creek. And Owl Creek was special to me because up and down this creek, right in that little area, a little bit farther down, actually had my make-believe restaurants. And I had um, very special restaurants all along that creek, all throughout the farm. And that's how the idea of Meals in a Rush kind of all came about. Okay, let's get started with this edible Play-Doh. And yes, you can eat this. Now, this recipe is so much fun for the whole family. And with Meals in a Rush, I like to really incorporate fun and creativity in the kitchen. And of course, I make sure that it's easy, easy, easy. This is also a great learning tool with shapes, letters, designs, and the creativity is endless. Edible Play-Doh is real awesome also, let me tell you, if you're a peanut butter fan, because it's basically a peanut butter cup without the chocolate. How great is that? All right, let's just take a look at how cool this really is. There are four whole ingredients, so this is easy for the kids. What you need is one cup of the peanut butter, and I like to use the low-fat, creamy version. You want to go ahead and dump that in to a big bowl. You can have your kids help you with this. There you go. And I'm not saying that this is a very um, clean type of recipe, but it gets get down and dirty. That makes it also fun. All right. You also want to add um, one cup of light corn syrup. You want to go ahead and pour that in. Look at this ooey, gooey, messy fun. All right. Pour that in. Uh, I'm not a clean cook. I'm warning you right now. So if you're not either, we're going to make a good team. Then you're going to add one and one quarter cup of powdered sugar. You're going to dump that in. And you might want to start mixing this first. You want to go ahead and get this all together as so. And at one point, we're going to forget about the spoon and the spatula, and we're going to use our hands. And that's where the kids really, really enjoy this part of the recipe. So we're going to get that all together. Now, the secret to this recipe is actually the powdered milk. And you're going to add one cup and one quarter cup of this. Now, this acts kind of like your glue. This is what makes it consistent. Now, you can add as much powdered milk as you would like, or if you want it really gooey, you don't have to add quite as much, just depending on the consistency that you would like. So you want to go ahead, and you want to get this all stirred together. And about at this point, maybe a little bit more, this is when I say, forget the spatula, forget the spoon. Let's get down and dirty with our hands. So as you can see, it starts to form a nice consistency. You want to get that all together, like so. You kind of want to gather all the powdered milk. And also, if you want to roll it out on the counter, this is also great because the powdered milk actually helps it so it doesn't stick. And I could probably use a little bit more powdered milk, as you can see there, but it kind of starts to form a nice Play-Doh, just like the, the real stuff, but you can eat it. All right, so once you kind of clean up your hands, get that all together here, I'm going to show you what the final product looks like. Oh, I am making a mess, huh? Kids will really appreciate that. Okay, so here the final product is how the consistency actually you want it to be. It's a nice type of consistency, as you can see there. And you can start uh, making different designs, get out the Play-Doh sets like you can see that I have here, and you can roll it out. I always love to use the little rollers. Check this out, this little guy. And I've made shapes, as you can see. You just go ahead and you press down, and just let the kids have a really good time there. We have a square. Here we have a little star. And also, with all the latest and the greatest tools that are out there and all the different Play-Doh kits, check this out. I've actually been grilling meat for you. I have the Foreman Play-Doh grill here. So just let the kids have fun. Go ahead and grill that for you, as you can see. The consistency is nice and perfect. And there you have a fresh steak. Or maybe you would like to try a chicken drumstick. You also have that. And there you go. And this just makes such a quick, fun learning experience for the whole family, the Meals in a Rush way. Mmm, it's good.